So, um, so Marie, um, I'd like to thank you very much for agreeing to meet with me this morning. Oh no, thank you. <laughs> I understand that um, you and one of your co-workers um, are having a bit of trouble uh, when you're working together and just in terms of some of the things that you might need to be getting done. And so um, your supervisor has a actually um, offered to you my services and um, both of you agree, which I think is great, that you already each have a willingness to want to come together and resolve your concerns. And I've taken a bit of time with each of you individually and confidentially to talk a bit about what you can expect um, when you come together and what my role is in all that and answer any questions that you have. So um, maybe we should just get started by you sharing with me, from your perspective, um, what is going on between you and Sandra. Um, well, between Sandra and I, there's an issue with the in-home budget. We just have one check cut that comes into the house, but the check needs to be allocated towards groceries, um, any repairs that need to be done. And she wants to continually allocate the money to the same places every month. So 200 to groceries, 50 to repairs. But since we work in a fairly stable environment, we don't always need $50 constantly being fed into repairs. So I would like to take 25 of that and put it into groceries so that I can buy higher quality produce, protein, etc. Okay. So you would ideally like to be able to have some flexibility yeah. in how that money gets allocated. Correct. Okay, and so what is the resulting problem from that? But the problem is, is that I feel as though I am not giving my individuals the highest quality of living that I could be giving them. And I feel like she is, maybe as you did say, stifling their quality. And so has this been going on for a while then between the two of you? Oh, about I'd say six months. And is there anything else to add to that um, between the, the two of your relationship? Mm, no, not really. Okay, so basically the main focus and the main concern for us going into this um, actually focuses around uh, the checks and mm -hmm. them coming in and how the money ends up mm -hmm. getting allocated. Correct. And um, ideally what you would like to see is some flexibility in, mm -hmm. in how that gets done. Correct. Okay. Um, so thank you for sharing that. And um, I want to talk with you a bit about what you can expect to happen um, when we come together in, in the conversation and that kind of thing. Um, in fact, I'm going to be asking you to share much of what you've said to me um, in relation to your concerns. And uh, one of the first things we will do when we do come together is I want to explain the process to the two of you together. We're going to spend a bit of time just talking about that and also talking about what would help the two of you be able to speak with one another uh, in a more open, honest way. And, um, you know, some people have called it ground rules, some people have called it guidelines, but what kinds of things would help you to feel more comfortable saying what you need to say to her? And so I don't know if anything just comes to mind right now um, around that that you might think would be important. You know, just an open environment. I don't want to feel like we're in a closed room, a sweat box, if you will. Okay. So anything more <laughs> open, maybe that will be all out. Okay, so can you say more about that? Like, what are you looking for? Because I'll, I'll look after the, um, you know, the environment if it's specific to the room setting and stuff. Well, I don't like need that. anything specific, just not a small boardroom. Okay. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be public, it doesn't have to be particularly private either. It just, as long as I don't feel like it's a small space. Okay, okay. Or well, we're in incredibly close proximity. Okay, I'll definitely pay attention to that as I look for somewhere to um, to bring the two of you together. Is there anything else that you can think of that would really help the conversation? No. Okay. Um, now, one of the things I will cover off with both of you um, is confidentiality. Uh, it's kind of key uh, for people being able to really express what they need. And also there is always a question about my role in relation to that because usually I'm being asked to come in 
by someone else. And so one of the first questions is, um, are you reporting that? And the answer is definitely not, okay? Um, I am here to support the two of you in getting to uh, an understanding and a resolution. And I've made it very clear to your supervisor that I will not be reporting back in any way, shape, or form. And in fact, it'll be up to you and Sandra to make a decision if and what you might take outside of the room, okay? And um, so I'm bound by confidentiality. And in fact, you may notice here, and also the day we meet, I might take some notes. And once we are done, those notes are shredded immediately. Um, it's not about keeping track of the conversation from my end. And even what you guys end up deciding, it's your choice whether number one gets written down and two, who you might share that with, okay? So the confidentiality piece is really important. So one of the things I'll be asking each of you is who, if anyone, you might be sharing this information with so that you both feel comfortable in being able to say what you need to say. So we'll be talking about that, but really the other, um, the other ground rules or guidelines that might help you, think about it between now and then. Uh, and again, it's a conversation I will also have with Sandra so that she might have some things she might want to bring forward as well, okay? But that's sort of what we'll be covering off that, the, first, um, the first piece. And, and just so there's clarity around what it is that I'm really there to do, um, I am not there to give advice and I'm not there to tell you what you need to do um, and I'm not there to judge. So anything that, um, that gets said and anything that you feel needs to be said, needs to be said by you. Uh, you may, as you did, share information with me here. I will not be voicing those things in the meeting between the two of you, okay? Um, I'm there to help you feel more comfortable and to also guide you through this process um, to have a conversation in a way that you probably haven't to this point in time. So uh, that's basically what I'm there to do. And the two of you are there then to be able to feel free enough to have the conversation and share what you need to share. We'll then um, take a look at what exactly is it that you want to talk about? Because we can't go in with the assumption that both of you are talking about the same thing. So I'm going to ask you what it is that you want to talk about. What are your issues? And we may in fact start an agenda from that. There may be two or three things, I don't know. There may be other things that you have not expressed to me that you think about after we've gone from here that, that you would like to talk about, and that's fine. And then the third part of it, which is really the most important and most critical, is the conversation the two of you have together. And again, I'm there to support that going forward, and um, it's up to the two of you to, to discuss what it is that really is concerning you. Once you feel like you're at a point of having said what you need to say, um, then it's like where to from here, which could include coming up with some potential solutions and putting a plan in place um, that the two of you would then um, agree on. I mean, one of the last things is, is there agreement on this? Are you okay with it? It's really important that you feel okay with what is going on, okay? And what the decisions are around it. It's not for any one person to make uh, individually. Okay? Great. Okay. So that generally is, is what um, is gonna be happening when we come together. And again, I remind you that, uh, you know, you need to come prepared to share. And I'm gonna give you this tool that may help you to start thinking about what it is you exactly would like to say to Sandra. Um, and it just has a number of different questions on it that you can think about, write some notes around, that kind of thing, okay? So I'll give that to you to take with you. And again, I just ask that between now and then you think about, you know, what is it exactly, what are your issues that you might wanna talk with her about, what are your concerns? Um, and uh, maybe think about if there's anything else that could help you in the conversation. So the guidelines and ground rules, and then give some thought to this, um, this handout as well. Okay, how are you feeling about all this at this point? Oh, fine. I think it's obviously it's something that needs to happen. So it's something that I want to have happen and I want a solution. Any questions? What happens if we cannot be amicable at the 
again in this situation? Okay. Well, and you know what? That's a very fair question, a very realistic one. And, um, you know, that's part of what we're going to have to, to talk about. If you get to the point at the end that there just is no agreement, if you're feeling differently about the situation, if you may feel that you would like to talk further about it, if you'd like to take a different approach, um, I think it's, it's too early to decide what might happen at that point in time. It will really be left up to the two of you. Good. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow at 2. <laughs>